I'm going to go to this one first just because this is such a cute little sighting. And then we'll go across and see the one and there's and Tima. How cool is this though? Look at that there. I think that's Gwen in the actual burrow. They're obviously quite cold. <laughs> and you can hear the impala are now alarming at the hyenas. You look miserable and freezing. <laughs> I think that is Gwen. She's not uh I don't, I actually don't know. You can let me know which hyena this is. Hashtag Safari Live. I will actually not make an attempt at guessing who is who. But very, very sleepy. Eyes are heavy. It's probably nice and warm with your body inside that termite mound, keeping out of the wind. So if any of you ever had your doubts about antelope alarming at hyenas, if you listen carefully, you'll hear the termite, not the termite, the turtle dove, and you'll hear the impala snorting. No, they've all gone quiet. Because, in fact, hyenas are very, very, very good hunters. That looks so comfortable. I'm tempted to go and join this hyena. I think that that must be a great spot. And not always that we get to see the adults actually going inside the den at all. Normally they just sleep around it on the outside. Only the little ones are always inside there. That is absolutely precious, though. Go to sleep, it's okay. But not interested by the snorting impala. <laughs> and I'm sure these impala are actually coming closer too. Now Vegas Beauty Snob, you say that she looks so precious. She does indeed. As precious as what a hyena could look, especially when it's not a, a young cub. Sh Craig, should we go have a look at the other one? Now there's, I think that that is Gwen in there. And then I can see in Tima and Ribbon. Let me go back. Sorry, Craig. I'll just quickly sneak back here. We'll go down this side. See if we can spot the impala as well. Hi, hyenas. Well, I'm just going to pull off to the side here. Hello, Intima. Oh, is our precious little girl suckling. So we must have just missed mom. You can see she's popped her head up now. She's listening to these impala that are snorting just off to the left of me. Whether she's going to get up and go and chase them, we'll have to just wait and see. Well, there's a whole herd of them. It will be difficult for you to see, but they're not actually far from these hyenas at all. And they're grooming themselves. So they're definitely acknowledging that there is a predator in the area. But they're not running away from it and and just what normally happens is of course the impala know that they're there so they'll keep an eye out on them but i don't know if these hyenas are going to go after them they look fairly fat oh look at that she's been waiting all night for the return of mum and oh, there we go little girl not excited to see us at all i don't blame her though i'm glad she's more excited to see mum and focused on suckling than really worrying about us at all. But I'm sure once she's had a big drink, she might get a boost of energy and she'll probably come running away this side too and maybe try and bite my tires. But please don't bite Wendy's tires. Wendy doesn't like her tires to be bitten. And I don't think I really want to have to deal with something like that. Naughty little hyenas. Isn't this sweet? Well, we'll stay here for a little bit longer and see what the hyenas get up to, if anything else develops. Oh, listen very quickly, a black-collared barbet. Sorry, I just thought that was completely relevant, considering we had one this morning and I was talking about it, wanting to make a call. But Byron has got some animals that have got not spots, but stripes. Let's go take a look.